Okay, I wanted to talk to you today on some ways that you can uh, literally get your taxes to zero and not have to relinquish your U.S. citizenship. Um, if you're from a high-tax country like Canada or Australia, you would have to be outside the country long enough to uh, detax yourself. You might have to pay an exit tax depending on the country you're actually you know, leaving from. Now, if you're a U.S. citizen, you would have to leave the country and uh, qualify for the foreign overseas exclusion. It will not work it, unless you do that. Uh, if you relinquish your U.S. citizenship, you can actually be more flexible and actually do more things, but that's up to you. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you an idea of how this is going to work. All right, now, the way it, it works is and it, it will only work in, in a pure tax haven. Uh, St. Kitts is a good example. I'm going to give you St. Kitts as an example on how this would work. But what you would do is, the, the way it works is, it, uh, if you're a U.S. citizen, let's just say for U.S. citizen purposes, uh, and it will work the same way with, uh, if you're from a high tax country like Canada or whatever, but you're going to have to, you won't have to do as many things uh, if you're from one of those countries as you would with U.S. But the way it works is, uh, you would have to move abroad if you're a U.S. citizen, if you're from Canada, whatever, you're going to have to be outside, again, the country long enough to actually detach yourself. And you, being a U.S. citizen, you're going to have to qualify for the foreign overseas exclusion. The way it works is you're going to, you can actually go out and you can buy, you know, hundreds of thousands or you can buy millions of dollars worth of properties. Now, being a U.S. citizen, you will have a limit uh, with the foreign overseas exclusion. Uh, right now, as I'm talking to you, and this goes up every year, it has been going up every year. It doesn't mean it's going to keep going up every year, but uh, it has been going up every year. It's 112000 income that's tax-free that you can make. This is this is actually earned income. It's not investment income, okay? It's earned income that you make, and that's per person. So if husband and wife both make 112000 a year, uh, they can deduct together uh, 224000 a year tax-free as a U.S. citizen qualified for the overseas exclusion and they've qualified for that. They've actually moved out long enough to, to, to qualify for that. Okay. Now, by doing this, the way it would work is you would pay yourself a salary. Um, there, well, actually, there's, there's several income or actually several taxes that you're going to have to be paying. One is property taxes. The other one is taxes on earned income, and then uh, taxes that you make from investment income off your properties. So what you'd be doing is you'd be buying a lot of properties, okay? And the rental income off those, uh, you would not have to pay uh, your, uh, your any taxes on income up to a certain limit. And as that limit goes with husband and wife, it's 224000 um, if you're paying yourself a salary off the corporation, in other words, the corporation owns the properties, okay, and this is a foreign corporation, okay, and by that foreign corporation uh, receiving the income off those properties, um, uh, you would be paying your, let's just say, take a flat figure, let's say that the income is 224000 a year, okay, and a husband and wife are both filing. Uh, you know, joint tax returns, then you could pay yourself a salary of 224000 a year, and there's no taxes on that money, okay? Now, that's with the foreign earned income exclusion, and that's assuming that you have qualified for that. Now, the properties is a different figure, di different uh, the way it's computed, because the properties, that's earned income that you're making off the properties, okay? So that's not that's uh, um, that's not a salary type pay that's, com that, that's earned income for you. It's earned income off the actual properties or what's called investment income. So that you're supposed to pay taxes on that unless that corporation has a deduction from salaries that it pays out. And if it pays you a salary, your husband, your husband and wife both salaries up to two hundred twenty-four thousand a year then that's a deduction to the corporation and then you get 
with the foreign earned income exclusion up to 224,000 with husband and wife, 112,000 apiece. So you've eliminated the taxes on both of them. Now anything over uh, 224,000 that you pay to yourself, you're gonna have to pay taxes on that unless you relinquish your US citizenship. Now, if you're a Canadian, it's different because Canadians don't have that income exclusion. Uh, once they've broken their tax ties, uh, they can make, there's no limit on what they can make in according to whatever the tax laws are in that country they're going to, the new country, okay? But for U.S. citizens, you will have a limit, okay? And that limit is 224000 with husband and wife uh, both qualifying for the overseas exclusion. Now, if the wife is staying in the U.S. and you're abroad, that's not going to work. It will work for you but for 112000 but it won't work for her. Both of y'all have to be living abroad, and you're going to have to be outside the U.S. long enough to qualify for that exclusion. Okay, and I've got other videos on the income exclusion you can look at. You can also go on the Internet and pull it up. You can see it up there and pull up the, uh, the, the regs for that. And that could change. That's why I don't like doing a lot of videos on that income exclusion because that changes every year. The amounts change every year, okay? And you would, uh, and plus the, the regs could totally change, not just the amounts, but the regs, they could totally change that and stop it. I mean, there are some liberals that want to take that exclusion away, uh, but I don't think you'll see it taken away uh, because there's some people that, that actually qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion and they end up paying more in taxes because uh, they're, um, in fact, they don't even take the exclusion because they're in countries like Germany that has higher taxes than the U.S. So that first, you know, 224000 is actually going to be more, you know, uh, in, uh, living in Germany than it would be if you're living in a tax haven like St. Kitts. So that foreign earned income exclusion works if you're in a tax haven. It doesn't work if you're in a country like uh, Germany that's very high taxed, okay? And it doesn't work in territorial tax systems either. Let me give you an example. If you're in a country like Panama, Panama, usually their tax brackets change, but it, it, the last time I checked, it was in the 20s, around, around 25% their top bracket, roughly, okay? 25, 27%. Um, you're, uh, you're gonna, if you have rental properties in Panama, you can actually pay more in taxes there than you do in the U.S., depending on a lot of situations. One thing is the property taxes in St. Kitts, is two, I mean, in uh, Panama, is uh, 2%. Uh, that's a lot. And I mean, that's, most states in the U.S. don't have 2%. And so, and then on top of that, you're going to have to pay income taxes if you're in that territorial tax uh, country like Panama, Costa Rica, uh, most territorial tax countries have taxes, and some of them have real high taxes. I'm talking about for local income. If you're buying that property in in that jurisdiction, you're going to have to pay local income taxes on that property. So it, this doesn't work real good in a territorial tax system. It works real good in a pure tax haven. And this is why I tell you that St. Kitts is a good place to do this. Uh, and it's not just income taxes, too. Now, you can zero that out if there's income of rental income of 224,000 and then you're paying salaries to husband and wife of 112,000 apiece both of y'all qualify for the exclusion income exclusion you're both US citizens um, the income that's coming in the corporation from rental income can be paid out to you and, and your wife in a salary that zeroes if you're I'm taking perfect figures of 112,000 each that zeroes out the 112,000 for husband and wife uh, as far as the uh, uh, earned income from the uh, rental properties. But then your salaries, as far as earning income on, on, on uh, the uh, salaries, that would zero out paying the salaries to you and your, uh, your wife. Uh, the other tax that we're going to talk about is the property tax. The property tax in St. Kitts is only 0.20 of one of whatever you're buying. So it's 0.20% of whatever you're purchasing with a 29,600 US dollar exclusion before that 0.20% kicks in. So not only have you zeroed out your income tax on the uh, 
passive income off the uh, properties, but you've also done it on the earned income, and the property taxes is pretty close to zero. I mean, it's 0.20 percent. You can tabulate that based on whatever properties that you buy, and in some cases, it's going to be 10 times 15, almost 15 times less, 13 times less than what you'd be paying in properties in New Jersey. If you're from a country, a state like New Jersey, that taxes ridiculously high tax rates on property taxes, state income tax, and then you got the federal tax on top of that, then you're crazy not to be doing something like this. I mean, you could knock your tax bill just drastically down, okay? And even if you're in a state like Florida, okay, now in Florida, you're not going to eliminate the uh, the federal tax up to 224000 You will in St. Kitts, even as a citizen qualifying for the foreign earned income exclusion, okay? And, um, uh, and you're also not going to eliminate rental income that's in, in uh, uh, Florida that you're making. Uh, because if you transfer it over to yourself, you're not going to do anything to it because there is no income exclusion in Florida. And then you're going to have a, a, a um, property tax that's more than likely you're going to be paying more than 0.20%. So the point I'm trying to make is uh, if you're going to be moving to Florida, why don't you just move to St. Kitts? It doesn't make sense. You know, I mean, I, I don't understand why people don't make that extra step. It's... Uh, it doesn't take that much difference in, in flight time and everything else to go to St. Kitts versus Florida, but man, you're going to save a lot on your taxes by doing that across the board. So these are some things uh, that, and you know, I'm not going to give you tax. I'm giving you tax strategies. We actually give you. We work with a, a, a professional that that knows this system real good, and then. Uh, you can work with them. We deal with the properties. We deal with the strategies. We can help you and show you how this works. If you're, if you've got a lot of properties right now, you're crazy not to do this system and live in a paradise island, nice weather all year round. I mean, the, you can swim literally. I mean, we're almost in December now, and I just swam a, a, a mile yesterday. Water was just as warm as can be. I, I can't figure out why people don't. I guess they just don't know about this system. And uh, they don't understand that, uh, you know, that uh, you can you know, drastically lower your taxes and get a lot better benefits using this system in a great place. It's got great weather all year round. And if you get citizenship, you get, uh, 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 in most cases, free health care if you're 62 years old or older. And uh, uh, in the, the hospital and also in the uh the government dental clinics, uh, if you're 60 years old and older, uh, you don't have to pay for uh, all the services that they do there. I mean, it's just incredible. And there's no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax here. Now, you got a capital gains tax the first year, but that's it, whenever you, you buy something. But, but that's on local income. That uh, That's local investments. That is not investments outside the country, okay? And that diminishes to zero after one year. Uh, now, uh, just keep, if you buy properties, just keep them more over one year. That's the key right there. Uh, anyway, folks, if you want to learn more on this, again, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the right of your screen right here. You get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.